Charlie Pickering. Hello. Thank you. Thank you so much. It is it's wonderful to be here celebrating the 30th birthday of the Comedy Festival. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, in my day job, I, I have to watch a lot of news. Uh, and it's pointless, all of it, um, <laughs> without exception. Have you noticed that? It's just the same every night, the news. It's bad theatre by bad actors, never changes. Never, ever changes. Always the same thing. Always starts with the scary music, the bum, 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 news is coming, news is coming, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> like you're meant to be scared of information. <laughs> and then it starts, good evening, I'm someone interesting enough to watch but boring enough to trust. Hello. <laughs> And I don't have a female co-host because my network still doesn't think that women know stuff. <laughs> and here's the news. Something happened today. Let's find out more about it. Steve? Yes? Hello? I'm standing in front of a spot where, earlier today, something happened. <laughs> I wasn't there to see it myself, but it happened right here. <laughs> so I'm standing very close to where something actually happened. And according to locals, it really was something. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm a local and I've seen it. <laughs> yeah, guy come out from over there, and something happened, and then blah, 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 something bogan. <laughs> like, oh, I've never seen nothing like that round here before. <laughs> there you go, a toothless local speaking out loud into a microphone. <laughs> about how something happened earlier today. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. World news now, and there's a war in a town that you've never heard of. Thank God we don't live in that thunder-blasted shithole. <laughs> For more on the story, let's cross to a town near where the war is happening, but where we couldn't get a camera to. <laughs> Hamish, what's the situation? The situation is that right now, instead of seeing me talking, you're seeing a photo of me next to a map of where I am, next to a picture of a mobile phone. <laughs> That's because our network thinks our audience is so stupid that you couldn't possibly understand the concept of a telephone conversation. <laughs> And right now, because I went to Oxford and I worked at the BBC, I'm going to miraculously become William Shakespeare to tell you about the war. <laughs> the disease tree of aggression has spawned the evil fruit of warfare. <laughs> A fruit that's proving more and more difficult to turn into the jam of peace. <laughs> Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Hamish, and please stay safe. Finance news now, and we'll cross to our money man, Ted Ricketts. Ted, what can you tell us? I can tell you that I'm standing in a giant room full of computers to give you the idea that I'm at the coalface of the stock market. <laughs> when the truth of the matter is, I'm just not a good enough stockbroker to do that full time, nor am I a good enough reporter to do that full time. <laughs> now I'll say some words like Dow Jones and Hang Seng to make it sound like I know what I'm talking about. But if I'm gonna be honest, and I mean really, really honest, I serve no purpose whatsoever. <laughs> I mean, just imagine you had a share portfolio big enough to require a daily share update. You sure as shit would not be tuning into this new service to find out about it. I am completely useless. Thank you very much, Ted. Showbiz news now, and for some unknown reason, we cross to a multi-purpose homosexual in LA. <laughs> Isn't that right, Colgate? That's right, news host. <laughs> So Colgate, I believe, a celebrity something something. That's right, a celebrity something something. <laughs> and I believe Kim Kardashian something something. That's right, Kim Kardashian KK something something. And that just made me think, gay hands! <laughs> Colgate, thanks for the update. I'm a homosexual. <laughs> Sport news now, and we'll cross to big, bad, bustling Barry, big one at the sport desk. <laughs> Barry, what can you tell us? I can tell you that I'm the manliest man that you've ever seen in your pathetic little life. <laughs> I'm such a manly man, I've got a pair of massive hairy balls under this desk that I can barely fit in there. <laughs> in fact, I'm such a man's man that there's nights that you look at me and you begin to wonder. You begin to wonder if I'm a man at all. Or if the network didn't break into the zoo, kidnap an ape, shave it down, put it in a suit, and just train it to take an unnaturally keen interest in footy. Because I love footy. Almost as much as I love having a good laugh at the expenses of a homosexual. I'm still here, Barry. 
saying, shut up, Colgate. <laughs> now, normally right now, I'd finish with my play of the day, but I haven't got one, because I spent the whole afternoon checking out girls' tits around the office. <laughs> so I'll just finish with a quick reminder of my massive hairy balls. Back to you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Barry, and I hope the charges don't stick. <laughs> well, we are just about out of time now, but let's get a weather update with our wacky weatherman, Pete. And Pete, I believe you've got yourself in a bit of trouble. That's right, I'm bouncing on a pogo stick on a platform on top of a 30-foot pole above a tank of piranhas because I offer you nothing that you couldn't get on the weather app on your iPhone. <laughs> I am resorting to 100% total bullshit in a desperate attempt to keep my job. <laughs> Back to you. <laughs> He's done it again. Well, that's the news. Join us again tomorrow night for exactly the same thing, just with slightly different dead people. Good night. <laughs> well, that's the news. Good night. Charlie Pickering, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>